Hi, this micro lecture is on heat and temperature. As always, three more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and do your follow up questions on Google Forms. All right, so the objective for this one is what is meant by the term heat? Uh, so, what is heat? Well, heat is the transfer of thermal energy. Thermal energy is that energy due to kind of the warmth of an object. Uh, and so it's the transfer of it. It's um, not something you have. So if we have a warmer object, it doesn't have more heat. Uh, what it has is more thermal energy. Um, whereas a cooler object would have less thermal energy. And so heat is transferred from one to the other if they're in contact. Um, so heat always flows from the object with a higher temperature to the object with a lower temperature. Uh, if it did the opposite, that would be weird. That would be kind of like a natural cooling effect, and it would be physically impossible in this case, or at least extremely unlikely. So if energy from warmth is called thermal energy, um, and heat is kind of that transfer of it, then what is temperature, and what does temperature mean, or what is the idea of temperature? Well, if we go back here, if we have a warmer object and a cooler object, What's actually happening if we zoom in on them is the cooler object is made up of molecules that are not moving quite as much, whereas a warmer object would be made up of molecules that are either moving or rotating or vibrating um, significantly faster uh, than something that is cooler. So when you warm something up, going from cold air, for example, to warm air, you're basically causing those air molecules to move, vibrate, and rotate faster and faster and faster and faster. Well, all of those things are forms of kinetic energy. So really what we're doing is measuring the kind of amount of motion um, that the molecules have. And so in this case, we could also say that temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of whatever it is you're talking about. So if warmer things have more movement, kind of the molecules inside of them, they have more kinetic energy. And so that's really what temperature is. Now, it's not a direct measure of it, meaning it's not um, like, a, what do you call it? The amount of kinetic energy doesn't equal the temperature, but you have to scale it and it's a proportional relationship. Uh, just one last note before we move on, uh, a little kind of FYI. In science, we use Celsius or Kelvin scales to measure temperature instead of Fahrenheit. We're not going to go too in depth on this, uh, but just know that instead of using Fahrenheit like we normally do, where water boils at 212 and freezes at 32, oftentimes what we're going to be using is Celsius, where water boils at 100 and freezes at zero, or Kelvin, which is basically really similar to Celsius. They just got rid of the negative numbers down here, so they added 273 to everything. Um, that's the easiest way to think about it for now. We might make another video that explains the difference between that, but that's not the focus of this unit. That's it. Three more sentences, or three more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. And our image credits are right here.